Today, we are investigating at the Bellevue Inn. Welcome to my home abode. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a tour of my uh, fancy new apartment. Two queen beds, friends and family discount, of course. Got on my little reading nook here with some coffee. Little cure rig. I bet you there's a fridge in this. Little cabinet right here. You bet. Oh. I don't know what's in there. Here's my uh, nice little bathroom. <laughs> Granite countertops. And it's a little faucet, little one knob here. Look at that water. Bathtub, shower, waterfalls. Bath mat. You know, if we come over here, this is going to be some finagling. Um, you shut this door. Boom. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Two closet. Very nice. It's actually where I got my robe from. And the, oh, the lights turn on and off by themselves. The lights off? Lights on. On. Oh. Now that's luxury. I'm gonna get that for my house. Not I thought this was your house. house. I mean, I just moved in. What room do you spend the most time in? Probably my reading nook. Just sit there next to my mini fridge, read some uh, Edgar Allan Poe and smoke my cigars and stuff. <laughs> so that's my crib. Get on out on TV. I'm gonna go sleep now. <laughs> so we were just filming our, or we're about to film the intro. We just had this flashlight go off. If there's any spirit here in this room, are you able to turn that flashlight back on? And to confirm that we're talking to somebody, can you turn that back off? Nice. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Off camera, that, that just happened. Like it turned on by itself. We asked it to turn it off and it instantly did. And then now on camera, we just tried that again and it worked again. We haven't, we haven't even started yet. We literally just are setting up for the intro. It's going to be a good night. It will. <laughs> it will. Thank you. It will. All right, turn it off. Please. It's like, you can literally see it trying. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Crazy. The Bellevue Inn. Hey everybody, my name is Jacob. I'm Tyler. And today we are investigating at the- Bellevue Inn. The Bellevue Inn. This hotel was built by Henry Plant, who is very, very notable in the Tampa Bay area, creating essentially the entire railroad structure around this area as well as very notable buildings like the University of Tampa, which used to be the Tampa Hotel. All right. This hotel was built and debuted in 1897 as a luxurious destination for tourists in the Clearwater area. It boasted a steam-powered electrical source for the entire hotel and even had a resident orchestra that greeted you as you came into the hotel. This hotel was the place to be. It was very ritzy, very luxurious, and a lot of notable people stayed here, from the likes of Babe Ruth, Jimmy Carter, Bob Dylan, Thomas Edison. Very, very notable people. Sorry, 2017. 2016. Oh my gosh, Tyler. What? The cap all just went off. It did? The cap all just went off. I'm not even kidding. Oh geez. I'm not even kidding. I turned my head for a split second so I'm like, oh, I wonder if the flashlight's back on. Oh, I just got chills. That's actually crazy. Are any of the cameras able to catch that? No, this is facing this way. This is, I don't think it's the lights on too. I know. I'll just record this so we can see where it's at. Oh, it's going on. No way! Dude, that's insane. Even with us walking around the yeah. house, it didn't go off. Yeah, we were, we've been walking around this whole time, but like, we're we're sitting now. I mean, we're not moving. The temperature's fluctuating a lot. So much right there. All right, back to the intro. What were we talking about? So we were talking about um, how they moved locations. So the location that you currently see us at is actually not the location that the Bellevue Inn was constructed. So back in 2016, after being vacant for almost a decade, the JMC Communities Corporation actually developed a plan to save the building 
and they actually moved the entire structure over to Bel Air, Florida, where it now currently resides. There's pictures all over the lobby of the location where it sat on its peninsula overlooking the bay, and now it resides in Bel Air, surrounded by an amazing community. So there's three main hauntings for the Bellevue Inn. Number one, Maisie Plant. Maisie Plant was the wife of Morton Plant, who was the son of Henry Plant. Maisie Plant is seen in 1930s attire, wearing white, a hat, and supposedly is looking for her lost pearls, which cost an estimated $1.2 million. Haunting number two, there is a woman said to be on the fourth floor, where we are right now. She was a bride, her husband died in a car accident, and because of that, she jumped off a fourth story balcony. So we might see her roaming these hallways. And haunting number three. There's not much behind this besides a few psychics that have came here and, and claimed they've seen them, but apparently there are some children that roam the halls of the Bellevue Inn as well. That's about it for hauntings and history, so I say we get investigating. I think so. Come over to my reading area. Excuse me. <laughs> How does this chair feel compared to the last hotel, the floor, uh, floor down? This one's not as like, doesn't draw me to it. Okay, so it's just a chair. We've been here for like two hours already. And I have just sat on this chair for the first time. Whereas the floor down. You were there instantly. Freaked to that chair. <laughs> Sorry, so what are we about to Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. All right, so what are we about to do? Yeah, so we are going to do some questions, yes or no, with the flashlight and the cat ball. Because while we were filming our intro, we got a lot of activity without even being on camera. So hopefully when we're drawing their energy and actually trying to cause a reaction, we might actually get something on camera this time. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the REM pod in the bathroom here. Um, you keep saying that you've seen some shadows over here. Yeah, like I'm seeing shadows like around this area and then like right here. Perfect. So we're going to set this run pot up literally right here and we'll be investigating over there. So if anything is in here, we'll hear it. One flashlight here, flashlight there, cat ball right there, Jacob right there. All right, just a base check, seeing what's going on over here. Nothing serious, nothing out of the ordinary. Looks like we've got some very standard readings. Nothing's really happening. That's ideal. It's actually exactly what we want. We don't want any interference. So that way when something spikes... We know. We know. That's weird. All right. That's spooky. If there, if there are any spirits here, we saw you were turning on some devices earlier. Is that so? Was that your stomach? Like a woman. That's it. There's just like two noises. Yeah. If there's somebody here, would you be able to make the flashlight just turn on? Isn't it? It sounded like someone just walked. Would you be able to make any of these devices go off? We saw the cat ball go off earlier. Is that something you could do again? I kept seeing something in the bathroom. If you could touch that red light over in the corner. Did you show us that that was you? Nothing on EMF either. Whoever was turning on the flashlight earlier, can you turn the flashlight on or go touch that red light over in the bathroom? Playing hard to get, I see. Mm. So it's crazy because like this building's all wood. So it's all wood that was brought down from Georgia when Henry Plant built this original structure. It's hard because like we heard steps walking, like coming from the door. But we can't, who's to say that it's not somebody underneath us? Sure. But I don't know, because we didn't, you would still hear them walking. Why would they stop like two feet? Yeah. In? It was weird because it did just sound like, like a little creek right there. It was like they stopped right at where the, that little couch cushion would be. Yeah. But like the bed is six feet into the room, so. A little iffy, kind of weird. Kind of weird. With the person that was turning on the flashlights, could you turn this flashlight back on for us? Spiked up to green. It's not a huge spike, but went up a little bit. Yeah. 
the person that was turn okay can you turn the flashlight off for us again like you did her that was instant that was super instant if you were the one that just turned the flashlight on and off could you turn it off what could you turn it on one more time so we can talk with you You don't want to turn the flashlight on we have the ball right over here and then the red light over there if you could activate one of those we can ask some some questions maybe we should oh i was gonna say back up but it did yeah. turn on all right thank you can you turn that off and we'll start okay. were you a guest here at the bellevue inn shifted like somebody was standing in the tub if somebody's in that bathroom can you make that red light go off you just have to get close to it and touch that antenna i don't know if that was the building shifting but i heard like a distinct like foot hitting like like somebody was yeah. stepping out of the tub it's so quiet I know. It's like eerily quiet. If you were a guest at the Bellevue Inn, does that mean you're? If you were a guest at the Bellevue Inn, can you turn that back off? Thank you. Were you a guest here in the early 1900s? What about the mid 1900s? Were you here post Great Depression? What about late 1900s? Up to the 100 year anniversary in 1997. Were you lying? Are you not a guest at the Bellevue Inn? Interesting. You got a fibber. Well, can you turn the light off and we can ask some more questions then? Did you hear something move in the bathroom again? Yes, I did. It's almost like somebody's like tapping. Yeah. The um the curtain. Is that you in the bathroom that's making the noises? Were you a soldier here in World War II? Another little tap. Yeah. It's hard because like Another one, did you hear that? Yeah. The lights back on. Yeah. Is that you making all these noises? Could be. Could be. Could be. I almost heard like keys jiggling. That's interesting because. Oh, there's a key. In there's there. a key in a picture frame. Did you hear that in the bathroom? That was me oh. shifting that time. Okay. Well, there's a key in the picture frame here when you first walk into the, the room. Very interesting. Like it literally sounded like a maintenance person keys. Yeah. I don't know, like I'm just very confused by what's here. And now it's nothing over oh, in this corner here. It's very like hot and then cold. Yeah. Very cold. It's like it's playing with us. Did you scratch your neck? I don't remember, but I feel like I'm a, I want to, like I'm about to. Okay, cause like the camera's not picking it up very well, but like, there's like a three inch long scratch mark on your neck. Like turn off the lights a little bit, see if that'll. Very weird. Oh my gosh. It, like, it, it, that's interesting. That's definitely interesting, right? Yeah. It's only right there. Like, it, I feel like, like, I was like about to itch it. Like, yeah. it, felt, it feels like kind of hot. That's what, oh, scared me. That's me, sorry. Jeez. Just wanna make sure yeah. it worked. That's quite interesting. That's you. <laughs> I wanna know if it's any of the spirits that we mentioned in during the history. If it's like Maisie, Maisie, Maisie plant. plant. Or if it was the bride who jumped off the balcony on this floor. Right. Or if it's a playful child running around. 
but we need some answers. I know we're not getting much, but maybe we do a little recording EVP session. So what we have here is a recorder, um, literally just records audio. So we're going to ask a few questions, leave some space, and see if anything responds to us in our recorder. And we also have the EMF meter with us as well. So. Did you scratch my neck? Are there any spirits here with us? Oh, we never even introduced ourselves. That was me. I shifted the bed. Right, but like the constant like running footsteps. I know. It's weird. I mean, I can double check, make sure no one's outside. It is a weird sounding thing. Hello, flashlight. No, that's there. Alright, well, we just realized we never even introduced ourselves, which is incredibly rude of us. Very, very sorry. My name is Jacob. And I'm Tyler. And we just wanted to communicate with anybody who's here. That flashlight just turned on. There's that cap ball on the bed there, which you've already turned on. You just need to touch it. I keep hearing voices. And this device in my hand will change colors if you get near it and put energy into it. Is that something you can do for us? Turn on one of our devices? Flashlight's on. Yeah. That was like, oh. Should we turn off the lights to communicate with you? It's kind of faint. It is faint. It's weird. If anybody would like to communicate with us, could you turn on one of our devices on the entertainment center? Flashlight. Yeah. If we're talking to the person that may have scratched Jacob, can you turn on the red light and make it change colors? Is there anybody still here with us? Flashlight. Oh, that's super bright. Can you turn that off? Thank you. I always, I always forget this. Oh, the spirit oh, talking? Let's yeah. do the spirit talker app. I always forget to do that until we're like halfway through an investigation. Even this isn't saying anything. Yeah, which is odd because usually it just starts rattling off like Eminem. <laughs> Are there any spirits in this room with us right now? Little. 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 Kids? Children? Could be. Are there any kids here? You have a little toy here on the bed. It lights up if you touch it. Would you be able bad to... Spirit. A bad spirit is here. Well, that's not good. Are you bad to the bone? <laughs> Go left. Go left. You're you left. To my left? In the bathroom. The bathroom. Should we mess in the bathroom? Birdie. Birdie. Bertie. If your name's Bertie. Or Bert. Or Maisie. By chance. Would you go to make the devices change colors? Go off. Ooh, I just felt a cool breeze next to my hand. The ah. AC's off. The AC is definitely off. That was me. Okay. Well. okay. <laughs> Was not hundred percent me? But it's not her enough there, guess. It just oh. it just went back on again. That was also weird if you think about it, because when I dropped my phone, mm -hmm. it still hesitated. It, has, it didn't go off right away. Flashlight is like bright, bright. Yeah. Vortex. Well, maybe let's move this up in the bathroom. Four. How did you know? Huh? Julia. Julia. So we are in, in the bathroom. Yes. We're actually in the shower. Yeah. We're in a triple X here. Um, so the noises we were hearing earlier from the bathroom, I was actually like able to recreate the noise. If you touch the back of this plastic, that's like that tapping noise that I was hearing. Remember when I heard that step like, and I said like, sounded like somebody getting out of the tub? Yeah. So when you lift your leg up to get out of the tub, 
in that first step, when you put your weight on it, that little shift. Yeah, that's ex that's exactly what we heard. That's what I was hearing. Very so interesting. Like somebody got out of the shower, stepped here, watched us, and then did something. Did something because they didn't activate the REM pod. No. Maybe, maybe give a little dance. Show them what's up. Just give them a little sway. A little sway, the 1930s sway. Hold on. Ankles. <laughs> Maisie Plant, if you're here, we have some music for you to dance to. Oh, this is before your era. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay. Hello, I'm Jay. Is Maisie Plant or anybody else here who would like to dance with us? We're just dancing out here. Man, they do not want to dance with us. Can't breathe. Well, that's not good. Oh, was it my shoes? Sorry. <laughs> this man's got the smelliest shoes, but not in a bad way, in like a unique way. These shoes right here, they smell like a... Uh, like rubber mixed with fire? Mixed <laughs> rubber <laughs> mixed with smoke. It's like a very distinct smell that you would smell at like like yeah, an amusement park. Store. No, I'm getting like Pirates of the Caribbean Disney ride. Like a cannonball goes off, that's the smell that you're smelling. Those shoes. It's really outstanding how aromatic they are. They fill up a whole room? They really do. It feels like an old-timey building room right now. And it is. But no one wants to dance with us. I give him a nice slide. The cha-cha slide? Watch out, I'm sliding. If I can. I just heard the bathtub shake again. Did you? Yeah. Let's go shake a little more for this. <laughs> oh, here's a good spot. Here, watch out. I'm gonna slide there. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, downstairs neighbors. What the hell is that? Oh my god. I said I like talking. Well, you're not talking to us. Fine. No more music. You don't want to dance with us. No music. This is so sad. We're trying to get back into the investigation feeling, you know. Our cheek. Our cheek. Right? Close our eyes. But not fall asleep. Alright, I'm gonna. Let's just sit in silence for like a minute or two. <gasps> Hello. Oh my gosh. All right, so we went out, took a little investigation break, got some good old Taco Bell in the stomachs. While we were out there, as you saw, the Spirit Talker app did say to play music and play 1940s music specifically. So we're gonna have to revisit that for sure. We just kinda had a period of like trying to refocus, all lights off, and while we are doing that, just not talking, Capo went off twice, and the flashlight was starting to turn on. Very similar to how when we did our intro and we weren't really investigating, the Capo went off twice and the flashlight was turning on. So very interesting start, and hopefully we can get some evidence to round out this investigation, but we're gonna start by just doing some basic questions, um, seeing if there's anybody here with us. So I guess let's get started. If whoever was messing with the ball could turn the ball back on. Oh. You match the spike. There, you see it? Just a little, just a little it's spike. Going up to orange. If you turned the ball on earlier, can you turn the ball back on? Okay. What should we be careful of? Is there something bad here? <sighs> you have to spike. Yeah. This is I'm hearing that same noise in the bathroom.
is Maisie Plant here. Ooh, that just spiked up. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that one is oh my solid. Yeah, I'm gonna put the REM plant out. Well, that's it. Infant? There are children here. Thank you. Is that a child? Are you a kid? That just spiked like almost all the way. Hear the footsteps. We were hearing footsteps earlier. We were certainly hearing footsteps. If Maisie Plant is here, can you make that red light on the ground go off again? If you're not Maisie Plant, if you're not part of the plant family, can you turn that on? The red light? That spiked. EMF spiked. The noises that I hear in the bathroom, is that you by the red light? Can you touch the red light? They will harm you. We keep getting some messages of like caution. Yeah. This is interesting. Oh, should we do um recorder questions? Sure. All right. We have this device right here in my hand that is recording and you can speak into it and we should be able to hear you later. Capital. Capital. If the bride is here, the bride who had the incident on the balcony, if you're here, we've heard about your story. We're very, very sorry. We really are. If you're here, could you let us know? He pushed. Didn't somebody push you off the balcony? Oh, EMF just went crazy. Who pushed? EMF again. I keep missing it. It was like every time I go to you, the EMF you. Goes. Once again, if you were pushed, can you activate one of our... Every time I, you start talking and say like pushed, the EMF goes off. Yeah. And I say, start, say it again. <clears throat> just to confirm, if you were pushed, can you please activate one of our devices? Did you not want to jump? Tunnel. Is it alright if we record on our camera? We want to get your story out, if that's okay. Somebody made that red dev- Roberts. I don't know what any of this means. Were you 18 years old? Maybe it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but it like looks like the shower curtain is like moving. I swear I heard a noise in there again. I can't tell though. I know. What do you know? My home. Is this your home? Why is this your home? Did you hear my voice? No. No. Sacred. Maybe like this is like sacred ground, like this is their home. Because it is sacred ground, they haven't left. Weren't you saying something about this being like Native American land? I don't know if it was this. Or the original or property? The original. Okay. Do you need more energy to communicate with us? You may have to just fight. Eli. I don't want to talk to us Why? Would you like music? <laughs> Someone did request music. They did ask on the Spirit Talker earlier for 1940s music. We played 30s last time. Maybe that was a mistake. Victor. Victor. Is Victor here? Or is anyone from the plant family here? Or is the bride here? Or are there children here? Or old workers here? Do you like the music? We turned it on just for you. The EMS is going up pretty high. Yeah. My neck. I just scratched my neck. 
Really? Like I was scratching it for like a good couple seconds. Um, just to catch everybody up, I don't know when I stopped. We played the music, we were dancing, we were talking about how nice the music is. We said, you like the music? And it said, yes, yeah, I like the dark. Maybe turn the light off. Um, it said yes over here, and we were thinking maybe it means like it likes music on the other side. And we said music, the great connector. Indeed. All right, well, if you don't, dark entity here. Man, it keeps telling us stuff like that. Well, now it's bright entity. <laughs> bright entity. Oh my gosh, Heather. Oh dear. EMF was nonstop. It has been like, you know, spike, 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 spikes. That was just nonstop. So we're going to do just regular spirit box before we go into Estes. Because normally Estes is kind of how we end the night because that's usually what takes a lot of energy from them and we don't normally get many responses after that. And that EMF is going off crazy. Um, of course <clears> at <throat> point it stops. Sickness took me. Someone, did somebody die due to a sickness? So we're going to do an out loud spirit box session. See if we can get anything. If not, we'll manifest. go in. Yes, we would like you to manifest yourself. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know all about all that. In front of the camera. Probably. Yeah, in front of the camera. You don't have to show yourself to us. But like this little device in my hand, go for it. Cap of course, I, as soon as I freaking... Yo, it's still going off. If you turn that cap on, can you turn that red light on the ground on? You just have to get close to the antenna. It'll let us know you're here. Potentially. Okay, I'll take it. As well? Y'all listen? Is there anybody here? What is your name? No, or L. I also thought I heard the case. How many are here with us? What was that? Family? Your mask just went off. Can you tell us a number? How many are with us? Do you know anybody from the plant family? How long have you been here? Nineties? Did somebody scratch my neck earlier? Are you able to make any of our devices go off? Fine. Why are you here? You lived close. Do you like it here? It's like weird because the EMF keeps going off. Yeah. This will occasionally respond. How would you like us to communicate with you? EMF is spiking. It just stopped. She pushed. She pushed. Another push. She and she pushed. Yeah, somebody's pushing. Wait a second. Think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. That sounds like something a kid would say. Yeah. He pushed. She pushed me. He pushed me. Probably not the lady who jumped off the balcony. Mm -hmm. This sounds like kids like playing, bickering with each other. And the, the main thing that has gone off so often is it's the, the toy. Ball. Yeah. It's like a little toy, you know? Like, that's us. 
the kids find out. <laughs> Yo, this could be like kids. Like they, they do say like they see kids all the time running around. Yeah. And the only time Grandpa went up here this is when it was on the floor. On the floor. Kid level. EMF doesn't really hasn't been working up here. But we put it on the corner of the bed mm-hmm. and it's been going up. What if I lost my train of thought. Either way, I don't know. I think it might be kids that we're talking to. Yeah. So that's probably why it's so hot and cold, because they're not really maybe understanding what we're asking. Yeah, maybe they're just kind of running around, like, doing their thing. Because remember, they, like, lied at the very beginning when we were, like, asking questions. What'd they say? When we were asking, like, if they were a guest here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a good question. Maybe we can do this in the spear box as well, later or now. But how old are you? Throw something. Throw something. (laughs) No thanks. No thanks. Don't throw anything. No need for that. This is amazing. No, this is amazing. I can put like this light on the bench here. Maybe that will help them. The bench. The bench. The claw. The claw. Have you ever seen Toy Story? We just stopped recording. We're about to set up the Estes method. And I was going to replace the Frustration. Frustration. So I'm going I was going to replace the SD card in that camera. As I'm doing that, I hear a squeak to my left, like by that bench area. Just like a little and as soon as I was like, I just heard in the middle of me saying that, the spirit talker said, Listen to this. And I literally heard a squeak. Not kidding. Believe me if you want, but I swear to you. thing really does not want to be recorded. I think that's why when we were setting up the intro, it was like not really knowing what was going on. Yeah, that's true. Like it feels like a lot of things aren't like really on camera. Give me a thumbs up when you're good to go and we'll get to it. Good luck. There's the thumb. Richard. Richard. All right. My friend Tyler here is listening to you. You just have to speak into the device in his hand, and he can tell me what you're saying. Is that all right? If you would like to. Proud. Proud. To start off with, there's two of us here. How many of there are you? How many? How many? I can't tell Dorothy. Dorothy. What is your name? Crawl. Crawl. Crawl? Maybe like a kid? Are you a little kid? Perhaps? I'm here. Have you been talking to us all night? Ground. Ground? What is up with like the ground stuff? I mean, it's gotta be a kid, huh? It's really hot. Is this your home? How long have you been here? I worked here. Pretty? You worked here. Hey. Hi. How long, how long did you work here? You think you said here, which kind of confirms that. Were you a bellhop or a janitor? Or someone who worked at the desk? It's so hot right over here. How long did you work here? Started. Started. When did you start? Meet. We'd like to meet you. We'd like to talk with you. Can you tell me your name or how many are here with us? Coast to coast. Is it okay that we're here? Get back. Get back. Do you not want us here? Are you just a little kid? Do you like talking to us? Why is it so hot? Heart rate. Two. Two. Are there two little... In front of me. Are there two little kids here? You can jump on the furniture if you'd like. We don't mind. Is there anything you'd like to say to us? I'd like. If you'd like to say something, feel free. We're listening. Or if you'd like to jump in the furniture or play with the ball, feel free. We come in peace. We are very friendly. We would love to talk with you. It's so hot. Tunnel. The second time it said tunnel. Are there tunnels underneath here? Bye. Are you done talking to us? Investigating. We are investigating. If there's anything you want to say, now is the time. Yes, I did. 
You said something to us? I'm making those noises. I don't hear any noises. Maybe we hear some on camera. There's life after death. Thank you. All right, Jacob is going under the Estes method now. Hello, everybody. Hey, here. Interesting. Can, violate. let's violate. Well, let's start off something easy. Um, what is your name? Red. Red or Brad? Bread, red. Red? Do you enjoy eating bread? How old are you? Her? I did, I can, I did, I can't sound like that. Let me rest. Let you rest? Do you want us to leave you alone? Children? Are we still speaking with the children? Me? That was me? Is it? Yes, we're visiting you here. Can you tell me your name? Back. Are you back? I don't know what they're saying. If you're back, can you tell us your name? Two of us, or you, or something like that. If there's two of you, can you tell us both of your names? More. Do you enjoy staying at the Bellevue Inn? I am. You do? Well, that's good. It's a very nice, very nice place. How long have you been here? It's Granddad. Granddad? Two. How long have you been here for? I don't know. I heard like a deep voice and was like, hey, or Jacob. Jeff, is your name Jeff? My name Jeff. Are we still speaking with the children? I gotta, I gotta stop it. It's so loud. You can turn the volume down. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Right as you took it off, the light went on for the first time the whole time. Really? It was just like, man, it was so, I don't know, it was just really loud. It was like clouding my head. Once again, my name's Tyler, that's Jacob. Hopefully. Yes, I would hope so. If you want to speak with us, you can tell Jacob through it's that lost. box on his lap. What? Yeah. Abigail. Abigail? You okay? Yeah, sorry. I thought I heard a voice in here. Oh. Did you hear anything? No, just me talking. It sounded like not from here. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like someone like talking very loudly out here. Okay, sorry, jumping out. Are you not? There's no noises. Like, the spirit talker just said go left. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. It's that damn spirit <laughs> talker. Cause like, it sounds like a woman's voice like, yeah. right next to me. Yeah, no, that was the spirit talker that time. Oh my gosh, that is tripping me out. That's the third time it said go left, though. It ke keeps saying very similar things, but I don't really get that. Like, it said like go left, tunnel, stuff like that. Can you tell me your name? Is it Abigail? Hi. Hi. Hello. Is everybody here a child? Stop giving a... I don't know. How old were you four when... Four or four? I don't know. I'm very happy. Is it saying stuff again? It said something right then. Bro, I'm about to give it to you and turn the water down. It's so scary to me. <laughs> Shut up, spirit talker. Down. Down. Yeah, turn down. Yes, I'm gonna turn it down. We go again. Can you tell me why you're still here? Welcome back. Welcome back, yes. Jacob back, I'm back. We're here to ask some questions if you'd like to answer. I don't. And Henred? Something? I don't know. The light keeps going on and off. How many people are here with us now? Hey. 20. 20? Are you all children? You. Yes, all 20 of you are children. Yeah. You know? Why yeah, are you... Me. Why are you still here? 4.30? 4.30? Nah. It's coming. Oh my gosh. So the app hasn't been talking, but I don't know if you can see this, but it says it's grandma. And like, legitimately, almost... Two months ago to the day, my grandmother passed. 
So I had asked like how many people are here with us, and like right away you answered twenty. I heard that clear. Yeah. Yeah. And then I asked like, are all twenty of you children? Yes. Really? And I said all. So all twenty of you are children, and you yeah. said yes again. What? Do you want to go under one last time? Yeah, I don't mind going under. I probably think whatever's here, or like that is at least talking to us as children. Yeah. That's my. That's the only thing I can think of. We haven't talked to anyone. Clearly, no one's responding back to us that they're from the plant family or the lady who. I mean, there was a few things about being pushed, but like, could be children. Yeah. So I think it's just children out here. Just playing with the fancy new technologies and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you wanna go over one last time and then we'll call it? Sure. Let's do it. Last Estes method of the night. If there's anybody with us, now is your time to let us know. He's old. He's old. Is there anybody here? Who knows Tyler? See, me. You know Tyler? No. No. Are you a child? Hey. How many are here with us? Can you give us a number? Mom? Why are there so many children here? September? Lady? Lady? Is there a lady here that protects you? Come. Can you tell me the name of who set that off? Do you like that little toy? You can do that again if you want. It's pretty fun, huh? Children's? Yeah, you guys can mess with it. You can, mess, you can, you can play with the little ball. It lights up. Hard, or part? Hard, maybe it's a little hard sometimes. Are we disturbing you? Would you like us to leave? Play. No way. No way. Wink. Thinking. Thinking. They think they're thinking about if we should leave or not. That's crazy. It's got to be just a bunch of kids. They're just playing. You like playing at the Bellevue Inn? Is it a fun place to stay and hang out? Do you like us being here with our colorful devices? Have you guys been making noises across the room all night? Watch out here. Is there something dangerous here? Americans? <laughs> Fair. We don't have much more time here. We're about to leave. Now's your opportunity to make any of these fun devices go off one more time before we take them away, because we're going to leave. Plus? Or if there's anything else you want to tell us, or Tyler and I. Are you a prisoner here? Are you stuck? Or are you free? Fear. Fear. Are you afraid? Radio. What? Radio? Oh boy. Oh. Headshot. Should we leave? 610. Don't know what that means. Definitely. Definitely we should leave. All right, are you trapped here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. My sure. Are you trapping these children here? Right. Is somebody trapping the children here? If you're being held hostage here, can you make the ball go off or the flashlight? If you need help? Or if you're afraid? Alice. Alice. Are we in danger? Coconut? <laughs> Do you need help or should we leave? Flashlight just flickered for a second. I'm from the 1800s. Are you from the 1800s? Is this true? Are any of the kids still here? We want to say goodbye. Out. Out. They left. Did the kids leave? Did somebody kick them out? I think someone did. All right, is there anything else you want to say? I'm going to end the session now. We're going to leave. Grandfather. Grandfather. All right, we are going to leave. Thank you again for talking to us. We're off. We are off. It sounds like the kids are off. Well, I hope all the kids here have a good time. I hope you are not being trapped. And whoever, if there is somebody trapping them, I hope you stop. 
but you are not allowed to follow us anywhere. We're going to leave this hotel, and this is where you will stay. And again, thank you for talking to us. Thank you for setting off our devices at times. Teenager. But that is going to be the end of our communication. So, so you want to know if the Bellevue Inn, Inn is, is haunted? haunted? Well, maybe. Possibly. It's got a case. It definitely has a case. I think everything that we interacted with could have been just a bunch of kids running around. And just messing with our equipment, not really giving us anything. There could be a theory that something is trapping the kids here, but that may be a little far-fetched. It could be. Although, we did get evidence that kept pointing to a dark entity. This is true. So, maybe... Maybe the kids are trapped? Yeah. Maybe the entity didn't want to make itself known. Who knows? But all in all, interesting investigation. Very, uh, very nice place, though. Very, very So nice. if you're in the Clearwater area, I would, would recommend, recommend the hotel. Definitely. It's very nice. So would recommend as a hotel. Is it haunted? Probably a little bit. Maybe. We're going to leave before we get possessed. We'll see you next time. See ya.